Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Project. Today we're going to be doing some no waste party bags. I wanted to do something where I weren't going to be chucking a load of plastic in a party bag and giving it to people. I wanted it to be more useful basically and not waste loads of money on stupid plastic toys that just get thrown in the bin. As we're doing a Minecraft party for my eldest daughter we thought we would do some Minecraft themed things. So what I'm going to be doing is making some Minecraft tins using napkins to decoupage them and then we'll put some pencils and pens in the pots. And I'm also going to be putting some secondhand Minecraft books in there because these things will actually be used. First up, I need to spray paint these and get them dry so I can get cracking on with the decoupage. <laughs> Okay, so we're all set up. We've got our PVA glue, our painted tin, a brush, and our Minecraft napkins. I ordered those off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. So let's get decoupaging. So first we need to prep the napkins. Now, I think these are free ply, they usually are. So what we have to do is separate the layers. Now this is the bit that takes the most time because it's a pain in the butt. I think they're only two ply actually rubbish napkins with these tins i always use half of a napkin it's about the perfect size every time so just cut the napkin in half and you've got the perfect amount for a normal size tin like tin of tomatoes or something like that So to find the perfect consistency, I usually do it about half and half with this PVA in particular. You can just buy decoupage glue, um, but it's more expensive, so just water down your PVA. So make sure you've got plenty on there and then um, just do a small section, it just makes it so much easier. And you just do a little lip on the top. Now these are great because they've actually got lines on them so I'll make sure I keep it nice and square. Really gently flatten it down and then I keep giving. And then when you get to the end, cut that bit off. And again, it's really handy having these squares. And then you just go all the way around the tin with the glue and make sure there's no dry bits and make sure it's fully adhered to the tin. Now with the bottom, what I like to do is just bring it in and fold, fold, fold all the way into the middle and it makes it look nice and neat. So we pop a bit of glue on the inside and then use our brush to go in there. And then we've got a nice base with the design continuing down. And then with the top, you just want to bring the glue around the edge and then just tuck it all down and it makes a nice continued line. Oh, jump my mouth in. And there we have the first tin. We're gonna let that dry and I might need to pop another top coat over the top, but we'll have a look when that is done. Just make sure you've got no stupid air bubbles because it just ruins the look of the tin. So I'm going to put that up to let it dry. Let's do some more.
two and four. Yay. So get the little bag. And then we get the book. So I bought some pencils, some felt tips and some gel pens to put in the tins. I then popped those in the party bag along with the book and it was the perfect party bag. Got the last party bag. <laughs> you enjoyed that video and I hope I've inspired you to make your own no waste party bags thank you so much for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more videos then feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next week bye